Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the how to install MSI package, how to deploy MSI package uh, on the target devices uh, through the Intune. In this video, I am going to talk about how to create or compile the Win32 application and deploy your uh, applications through Win32 module. So when it is required is basically uh, when you have a exe or any customized deployment then there is no way you can upload the exe there is no such a format or there is no such a module available in the microsoft intune where you can just upload the exe file and it deploy on the endpoint now we are, what we have to do is we need to create a win32 application uh, i have a win32 application already downloaded uh, that is uh, for uh, creating a Win32 application, you need Intune WinApp utility that you easily you can download from the Microsoft portal. I will put the uh, download link in the description. You can check out and uh, you need to download this Win32 application basically first. And in this video, I am going to show you how to deploy Microsoft, uh, sorry, uh, how to deploy Adobe Reader DC on the endpoint. So now, since uh, I, uh, since Acrobat Reader DC is provided ex in there is no MSI file they provide. So how we are going to install this through the Intune? So for that we need to create a Win32 application. To to create a Win32 application, basically you need a uh, some command to deploy this exe file. So how you can deploy? So this below command I found uh, from the Microsoft and I will show you this. Uh, just one minute. Yep. So this is the command that we need to uh, need to run so that this file will trigger and it will install on the endpoint. So basically what I am doing is I'm using the PowerShell and start process wait and file name that is this is the file and then the argument uh, that is I'm providing with this and automatically it will accept the terms and condition and uh, uh, it will install. So basically this is the command I'm going to run uh, during the after downloading uh, this Acrobat DC on the endpoint and then this this command will execute so i am going to do that so i am putting this command in the powershell dot psi ps1 and i'm just closing this and now what you need to do is you need to run this application into a win32 application and this is the way it is going to be and what you need to do is you need to go to the here copy this path open this backslash and now you need to provide the set of file the what set of file you are going to provide is basically the the powershell path the powershell file so i'm going to provide this so you can easily copy this path uh, not a path basically what you need to do is just to give this uh, name i'll just copy this and i'll just paste here and then you need to put the output file so after compiling this as a win32 application this intune win file will create i'm just sitting enter and then select no uh, and then that's all you need to do and it will just starting the compiling that whole exe file with the powershell script everything inside in intune win file so you can see that app install dot intune win file is created now we need to go back to the our uh, intune portal now we are going to select this as a win32 application and here you are going to select this select select the file yeah the file is here app intune win select select and you can see here the file name is created so i am going to rename this error of dc dc and i'll just copy this and as a publisher also i'll put this and next nothing i'm just going to select the next and now you need to provide the installation file like installation what installation command you are going to execute now basically 
so you need to provide the installation command so the installation command is very uh, simple you need to provide the uh, installation file path that is a powershell path app dot app hyphen install dot ps1 but right now as uh, this but um, what i do uh, simply because uh, some of the powershell is uh, execution policy is restricted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this way the powershell.exe hyphen execution policy bypass and the file that is app dot uh, app hyphen install ps1 and uninstall command you can get the uninstall command if you have already uh, from the adobe reader then you can do otherwise some most of the time i just uh, put the something uh, wmic it's not going to work but uh, since it is a mandatory uh, i will show you i do not have uh, i have not tasted the this uninstall command right now so i'm just putting this as a because it's, this field is as mandatory i'm putting this now i'm going to install as a system uh, in a system uh, context so next then i will select the architecture 64 bit i will go with the windows 10 uh, windows 10 minimum this much and then you see, you can see that there is a difference right when the last in the last video you seen the when we try to install the msi file there was no such a uh, uh, parameters was coming so it's directly uh, uh, assignment was there directly you target the device and install but when you create a win32 application you need to complete this all these parameters and everything to install that application so manually configure your custom script so i'm going to detection script so here is the thing that it's very interesting where you need to um, see which file which uh, msi file is going to install uh, you need to install that first uh, manually some on, on your on your test machine you need to install that uh, adobe reader manually and just get that what uh, msi file is uh, installing or the where it is installing that path exact path you need to know otherwise it will uh, create a, a detection will not work so i will tell you when troubleshooting you know in the next video when i in the next video i will show you the how to troubleshoot this issue and how to get over this and how to uh, get this information so right now since i have deployed this and the detection rules uh, uh, is i'm going with the msi and product code is this is the product code i'm going to install this is and next next assignment again all devices and uh, next and i'm going to create so now same thing it's going to upload uh, the whole intune win application on the intune and it will deploy on the end machine on all end machines